we uh, have Christina here from the Central PA Humane Society. You brought along the sweet gizmo girl. Tell I me about did. her. I did. Well, she's a one-year-old uh, Shih Tzu pug mix with a lot of energy. <laughs> she's, she's sweet. She is. She really is. She loves kids, dogs, um, cats. She loves to play. Loves to play. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, she just needs a home that has... Um, you know, a lot of energy in it and people that can handle her because she just loves to run and play and enjoy life. Yeah, you can tell she, <laughs> she's ready to go. She's yeah. doing a really good job. I think she's um, she's loving the camera. The camera loves her. <laughs> um, but you, you took her to Urban Air, you said? I did, yeah. She, she, went, she went to Urban Air. <laughs> <laughs> so she's a good little companion. We've got some photos there, too, on the screen. What's the, what's the situation? How did she come into you guys originally? She came in as a stray. Okay. Uh, she went into two different homes, and uh, she was returned for being too much energy in one. And the other home, she fit in beautifully with the other dogs, and but they had a cat that had a heart condition, so it okay. was just a little too much energy. And I know they were devastated to return her. So. But she's, I mean, she's not that hyper. She's no, she's been excellent She's here. a good girl. Yeah. Oh, um, she knows I have a treat. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what does she want? <laughs> That's why. <laughs> yeah. Give her a little bit of a yeah. incentive here. Well, yeah. um, what is what do you think would be the best household for her? You said dogs, cats, and, uh, and kids. kids are okay. Yeah. yeah, pretty much any home. Just uh, don't expect her to be a couch potato. Okay. Because she will not be. <laughs> <laughs> so probably a little bit more energetic, lively, mm -hmm. you know, type of environment. Someone, yeah. you know, she probably likes to go on a walk, I Walks, can imagine. runs, oh, I'm Aww. sure, yeah. She was really curious out the window on the car right over here. But she was very, very well behaved. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Well, and you said she's only about one years old. Yeah, one year old. She's spayed. Okay. She's ready to go. Shot spayed. Look at that. <laughs> See? <laughs> there you go. She knows Good what girl. she wants. Well, and her coloring is so interesting, and like her hair, I mean... She's just a good little companion. Mm -hmm. I would I would love a dog like this. Yeah, we'd love to see her go into a really good home. You think she's done growing? Yeah, a one year old. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. she's all, all yeah. done because yes. this is a nice size too yeah. of a dog. Um, what are some of the different things that are happening at the shelter? Uh, well, we just finished up with our uh, adult Easter egg hunt, uh -huh. which went very, very well. Yeah, and we met our goal of twenty five thousand dollars. Wow! And there were at least a thousand people there. That is amazing. So yeah, it was. Well, it takes that community support, I think, mm. to really help, you know, provide for these animals on a daily basis. Oh, yeah. We couldn't get by without the community support. Because, I mean, you do everything for these animals. Medical right. bills. I mean, feed them, clean them. I mean, house them, obviously. It mm -hmm. takes a village, I'm Oh, sure. yeah. Just medical bills alone uh, for a year, $400,000. Yeah. So it's it's at least a million dollars a year that it takes for us to run the shelter. Yeah, that's hard to imagine. But right. um, that's why. Do you have any other upcoming fundraisers that we should be aware of or any Anything on the radar that you know of? We'll be starting to plan for Bikers for Barkers okay. in July. Yep. And we're going to have a wine and whiskers event that's going to raise money for our building fund. Okay. That's coming up in August. Oh, very good. So some different things to uh, keep in mind. If people are interested in coming out to the shelter, meeting some mm -hmm. other animals, or even Gizmo herself, mm -hmm. uh, what's the best way to do it? Uh, the best way is to actually just come down. Okay. Um, we're open, uh, we're closed on Mondays, open from 12.30 to 4.30 every day, except Friday we're open until 7. Okay. So, yeah. Easy enough. There she is. And we have lots of dogs it? and lots of dogs right now. <laughs> okay. And we're on the edge of kitten season. Right. So, yeah, come on down. Yeah, you never know, you know, who, yeah. who you could meet. Yeah. Look. She's so sweet. <laughs> She's ready to find her forever home, aren't you, Gizmo? And we'll have more uh, more details on Gizmo and uh, the Central PA Humane Soci Society on our website, WTAday.com. Christina, thanks so much for stopping oh, by. Oh, thanks for having us. Yes.